all the nod skids in good shape. This trunk is extremely clean. And this is on that uh, power actuator, so the whole thing will lift up. Grill doesn't look like it's ever been used. Get your storage down below. All the Corian's nice and clean. Your switch for your underwater lights. Swim platform. The vinyl's all in excellent shape as well. Teak tables. There's a slide back here. You can use a polish up. The wood's in good shape. Have your lower ice maker, stereo controls, starboard docking stick. All the cup holders have uh, LEDs in there. And then under the rail there, if you look close, you can see some little knobs. Those are all blue LEDs that light up your walkway at night and look really nice when they're on. Again, the fiberglass, you can see how shiny the fiberglass is. All good. Forward cover, the sun cover is in good shape. Slip this off just to show to you the vinyl's all nice and plush. There's no checking, no dry rotting, nothing. It's a little pressure sensor that turns on your light whenever you open this hatch. The engine room is very, very clean too. Even all the nooks and crannies back there. This is something, you know, that I'm looking for oxidation and I'm just not seeing it where you'd normally expect it on all the different little miscellaneous areas. All right, moving up the bridge. Uh, carpet's in good shape. There's a little discoloration down there, but I would imagine that cleans out, it's just on the trim piece on the exterior. This rail needs to be tightened up and in, inside on both sides, but they're common. Teak here is in great shape. I love the way that they inlay the Corian inside the teak on these. And the vinyls looks like new up here as well. There's three zones of air conditioning up top. There's your controls, fridge, and upper ice maker. Corian's good here. You have a joystick uh, driving mode, which is a pretty cool function. Corian behind the cup holders there. There's speakers built in to the hard top and then your opening vents. I'll walk you back down and show you the interior. Takes a lot for me to be impressed with the condition of a boat, and this one is impressive for sure. There's your switches, switch from shore to generator or batteries. cooler TV that comes up behind the salon the couch there 
full power panel. This is power as well as the aft cable, both those power up or down. There's a switch right here to control that. VIP. The uh, day head that you'll share with guests. St storage all behind here as well. And again, the teak and the Corian, and even the teak on the floor here looks excellent. Usually, you see some sort of discoloration from water and whatnot drying there, but not on this one yet. No wear patterns that I'm seeing in the floor here at all. There's outlets and both sides next to the master. Large closet. Again, that'll click on just when you open the door there. Big storage, three door drawer storage, and then the washer dryer, which it, it was either cleaned extremely well or more than likely never used because it just looks like it's never even been touched. None of that's gotten wet or heated up. And I'll show you the master head. Storage down below both sides. And up top. Opening portholes. I did see the screens in a drawer in there for all your portholes. And again, same situation here, just uh, surprisingly clean. A traditional shower head and then the rain shower. All Corian backsplash, Corian kick plate here, Corian surround on the toilet.